ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to have our next guest in the studio. Uh, I, I spoke to him a little before we got on, and I was like, yo, I've had the opportunity to talk to you over the phone, but never in person. Mm -hmm. Russell Simmons is on the crew show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check in. Russell, you had me wanting to, you had me wanting to cuss, and I know that's not even who you are, huh? but you got me wanting to cuss in here, man, because I am so excited that you're here. My man, you don't cuss? I do cuss, but not on the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't cuss on that. the radio. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you don't have Russell. a delay or none of that, right? There no. is a delay. There is a delay. So oh, if you want to go ahead and let it fly, go ahead. So you get the pass. If you want to speak English, he could, he could just speak. Yeah, yeah. But I'll try to be respectful. Russell Simmons, what's good, man? I'm good, baby. I'm happy to be on this show. Finally, Finally man. Finally, man, you here. I've been living here almost three years. Y'all never let me on this show. <laughs> 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 he almost cussed you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He let us live. Yo, no, Russell, listen, you know you're you're invited at any time. I mean, this is your home. Don't say that, man. I live up here with y'all. I, I need it. Y'all got a lot of, a whole team up here. I want to yep. join the team. Come through. Come That's through. your seat right yeah. there. Come through. I got you. a lot to talk about all the time, man. I'm I know. Hustling. Listen, you, you, know, were, you were one of the first people that were on your phone 24 hours a day. Now we all are, but you were on your phone <laughs> <Early>. <laughs> since way back. Before it was cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And vegan before it was cool. Him yeah. and Crystal B, you feel me? Oh, right, word. Hey, Crystal B's vegan. vegan. Yeah. <laughs> they never talk about the whole election, though. They never said nothing about about vegan. Never mind That's vegan. True. They never said that the plan's going to disappear. We, right. keep, we keep messing up. Right, right. right I mean, right, it's right. true that like all the cancer, all the ass cancer, you can't get ass cancer without, can without animal product. Exactly. And the planet. Ass cancer. We ain't got is but that, a second that, left. Is that we ain't got but cancer? a second left. We keep eating this. You know that the cows are the number one cause of global warming? Yeah, by yeah the farts. Dog, yeah, they yeah, fart. for real, they're right, farts. You know that, yes, right? Yes, yeah. 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 And, and you're they keep eating talking that? about everything but that. Gross. You're eating cow farts. You I'm not eating their farts. They're eating their meat. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> but if their farts no. are, are that toxic, you have to think. It's in their meat. Yeah, it's them. But my nigga, I got a lot to talk about today. Okay, for sure. This morning, yeah. Okay, no cursing, please. Oh, I'm sorry. No cursing. See, you testing it. that. You see? You testing good, the delay button, Russell. You got that button, though. All right, but but I got a lot to talk about. All right, I talk mean, to I us. What's to... on the agenda? What's good, Russell? Well, first, uh, tomorrow on Fusion, I love this I'm going to have a roast of America. Like, uh -huh. And everybody participate you can think of. They're all, you know, all. Yeah. But it's, it's the roast of America where mm -hmm, mm -hmm. comedians get up, make a lot of fun of America, but we talk about the election. They're going to roast America. They're clowning That's America. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> That's love a great that. subject, right? Rather, yes. We're doing Snoop's roast next week, but this hell yeah, on Fusion, on the night of the election, back and forth to election results. Yeah. Plus serious subjects that come up. Everybody from Diddy or whoever you could imagine mm -hmm. had something to say about what happens post-election. That's right. But then we cut back to the jokes and it's just something to do that's I alternative that. to the, the, um, the election. But it goes back and forth so we still get results like every other network. But it's on Fusion tomorrow. It's going to be every hour on the hour. Uh -huh, it's uh, uh -huh. all death row. Check your local America. listings too for Fusion as well. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Awesome. Right. Yeah, man. But then we got, um, we're doing a Snoop Roll. No, HBO. Deaf Comedy. Y'all remember Deaf Comedy? Hell yeah. Come on, man. Martin and Jamie and Cedric of course, and Bernie of course. and Chris Tucker and Dave yes. Chappelle and Steve Harvey. Major. R.I.P. Bernie. Cat Williams and everybody. All came out of that Yo, one Yo, Bernie, show, I ain't scared Even of Kevin Hart. All yeah, of them Kevin came. Hart, everybody. Nick Cannon. Right. All came from uh, Deaf Comedy. So now, November 12th, on air, will be um, Deaf Comedy. And Tony Rock's hosting it. You That's know right. every wow. Wednesday we Chris got Rock's the, brother. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. theater down, down, t yeah, down yeah. right there on the... Um, a Chinese man theater. So every week we sell out. And, you know, when I moved back to L.A., it flipped me out because as a person with all these movies in development, they keep asking me for Kevin Hart, who I love. Mm -hmm. But, like, where's up? Like, when we did Def Comedy, it was bottled up talent. And a lot of times, because Hollywood is so white, they mm -hmm. don't really know what they're looking at. So mm -hmm. they reach around the stars of the community and choose who they want to choose, mm -hmm. uh. whether it be Latino, black, Asian. They pick what they want rather than what the community promoted to them. So there's so many people waiting for a shot that deserve a break. Sure. And and and, you, and we need them. Like, we ain't got no leads for no movies, no show, yeah. no real hot. And sometimes the people they choose, although they may be good, they're not cultural. Right, right. So we got a whole slew of comedians, and we begin November 12th with Def Comedy, Tony Locke, awesome. the host. I love that, I love that. And HBO, you know, that that was the platform. We blew a lot of people huge. up. Yeah, they've real been language, home since real day talk, one. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Social, political causes come out of their mouths. You okay. know what it is. Yeah, I love that. Okay, Russell Simmons is here. More with Russell yes. Simmons yeah, next. Man. Don't move. We already hey. having an argument with Russell Simmons. <laughs> we took a look at the J-Lo selfie, and Russell, what did you say about oh, it? Oh, man, stop that, man. I just said, of course, all girls, even the young, young girls rub their shit up. They, they don't just... You Russell, know, please don't put it up. Curse. Russell, okay. please but young girls, cursing. of course, they rub the skin a little bit. That's what they got right. the abs for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, perfect. so you're She's saying flawless. the picture's touched we up. All flawless in our, He's saying in the picture's our touched up. If we meditate, do that, in, our, in ourselves wow. are perfect. And that's enough. But her body, nobody's body is perfect. J-Lo. Uh -huh. J-Lo did not do that. <laughs> J-Lo did, did not do that. Her body is fire, though. Her body is fire. You rub that up, right? Put your finger.
finger. I seen the girl. No, I seen the. Halo, I'm saying No, I seen the app where you rub with your finger and just clean up the skin. Hey, she might have rubbed it up, but I rubbed it out, Russell. You feel me? I didn't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Yo, I saw you with uh, with our good friend Kobe Bryant the other oh, day. Oh, Kobe's uh, an Mama. investor in All Deaf Digital, ADD. I love that. Congratulations. Have y'all been to All Deaf Digital? Now no. we got to make a trip up there, man. Have y'all been on the site, though, right? You know, well, Of course, yes. Of course. But we got to go up there. That's really where all the movies and television, Everything. all the stuff I'm doing in Hollywood comes from. Yes. It's from all the young kids running around, yep. all the young directors and writers uh-huh, and uh-huh. talented people that wouldn't get a break, but digital Beautiful. is giving them a... A shot. Awesome. Millions of people go to All Deaf Digital. We had 200 million eyeballs last month. I love that. Congratulations. Just to see all these talented people. It's funny because TV stars uh-huh. who are the leads on shows come and work on All Deaf Digital and they walk out our building. It's like, yo, you're on All Deaf Digital. Amazing. So what about my show? What yeah. show? Oh, you're on All Deaf Digital. <laughs> They're famous for being on digital, which is a new, a new trend. Hey, and all, that way, also, talent that's real cultural talent, that's uh-huh. Latino or black or alternative, they re- the real stars come of age despite what the gatekeepers decide. Uh-huh, like you uh-huh. can't stop them, right. and that's, that's what awesome. makes it. You know, that's what it's all about. That's it's amazing. Real talent rise to the top. So that's what all Deaf Digital is doing. Russell, you're a father. I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, I'm expecting my first child here. My fiance and I are really? expecting it's a boy. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I I, I have to ask. Um, should I watch the baby come out <laughs> of my fiance? I did. You uh, brought two babies me? out of Kimura. Yeah, that's yep. right. Congratulations uh, on that. Yeah. No, this, I mean, you know, we got eventually got back to doing it. <laughs> That's what you're asking. Saying. I'm like, I hope that didn't lead to the divorce. You know what I mean? Because no, 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 no. Divorce in 15 years will lead to divorce <laughs> in Hollywood. In Hollywood, it will. You so know? you watch the babies best come friends, out. Though. I just want to say that. Too, oh, that's beautiful. All, all the fathers out there who separated, you know, you still got to be a father. You got to show yeah. up on time sure. and you got to be best friend with the mother because that's, that's the right. mom of your baby. You're crazy that's if right. you, you gotta set that example. allow that separation to happen. You got to stay close good relationship. Mm-hmm. to the family. Mm-hmm. So course. you're saying I should watch it come out? Oh, we go back to that. Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, He's really man, scared about it. He's really frightened. Chance the Rapper said yes. John Legend said yes. Who said no? Someone said no. I said no. You said no. <laughs> Christina Milian said to watch. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nah. So I don't know. You, yeah, know you should saying? watch it come out. Bring it out. Do what you got to do, man. Oh, Be part of that process. Out, Jeezy <laughs> said don't watch. That's right. Jeezy See, was like, do not watch. dudes who really probably... Uh, That's I don't what, know what I'm saying. Right. I think you got to watch it come out. Right, man. right, right, right. That's what we're doing these days. Yo, you saw Hove and Hillary and Beyonce on stage this weekend. I'm proud of them, you know. I mean, I've been working for Hillary. I gave her yep. first fundraiser. Go ahead. In New York State. Yeah. That's right. And uh, I've been in a support system. You know, I know that people have a lot of complaints, right? But, you know, the, the, the mistakes that were made. I mean, she's the most investigated uh-huh. candidate in the history of the world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No one in America has had more investigation, more money spent trying to dig dirt. And still, the answer is always there's no dirt, you know? Mm-hmm. And when they talk about her foundation, I yelled at the campaign. I was like, why would you not tell them? That three-fourths of all the malaria victims in the world mm-hmm. are taken care of by the Clinton Foundation. That's amazing. Why would you not talk about the good work? And guess what? When you go see a politician, they always ask for money. That's right. Oh, my God. They, but they ask for money for their campaigns, which are personal, <laughs> not for their charity. <laughs> right, right. And this is how they keep their job. This is, this is like asking for money for themselves, sure. right? It's for their campaign. So for her to have donations from people who visit her to underwrite her, her charity— it's nothing compared to this corrupt system where money goes into campaigns and politicians do the bidding of corporations. Mm-hmm. You know, because then it becomes more personal, becomes more. So it's just for me. I think that they they handle it okay, but yeah. I think the truth is they didn't fight back enough. And I know Trump thirty years. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mean, I know him. I, you know I, him I personally, of course. Yeah, I, that was my man until he ran for president. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. right. Wow. But you guys had dinners together. You dinners. guys, I travel with him all traveling, the time. Traveling, been over to each man. other's houses. Yes, of course. He hasn't wow. reached out to you like, yo, why aren't you on my side? No, he like, reached out to me like, I can't believe you said what you said, right? <laughs> yo, but that's it. We ain't spoke since. I mean, you know, I, I just think. Look, I get along with everybody, no matter what their views, right? Uh, but I just don't want them to run the country. Yeah. Right. And I had to tell the truth about his Islamophobia and anti-Semitism and racism. Right, right, and, right. Uh, Very heavy uh, homophobia stuff. Homophobia and all, all that stuff is real. I mean, yeah. I heard it, you know. I've heard those things. You guys are that close, but you still feel he's racist? Uh, Yeah, well, yeah. I would say that. Yeah, a lot of people. You, everybody got a little seed in them, you know, mm. a darkness, right? So watering the seeds of everybody else who, who might not even have thought they were racist. Yeah. But they got the little seed, right? Nobody's enlightened. Everybody got a little struggle. You see the Latino girls, man, whatever. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah, the Chinese girls, right? You know, everybody got a little vibe. Like, sure, a little, right, something, a little right, dirt, yeah, right? Yeah, and sure. when you water that dirt, it grows a flower or a uh-huh, plant, uh-huh. you know, cactus or whatever. It's not good. Yeah. You cannot have, he has divided the country. Long after he loses this election, God willing, 
we're going to still struggle with the divisive work that he's done. Yes. Right. And, the, and the hurt that he's caused this country. Yes. It's not going to just go away once he loses. Maybe worse. It's going to be, a, yeah, it, it may be worse. Yeah. So we have a lot to, you know, lot to change, you know. We, you know, uh, Reagan made America racist again, too. You know, oh, I was in no. job. Yeah, yeah, right. With all this love. Remember the love? Again? Remember the hippies and all the happiness and all that? That went away with Reagan. Yo, how do we make America hip-hop again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we ain't going nowhere. I mean, we're still going to have a voice. That's we, right. That's know, right. And we're still going to have. And I think it's going to be if anyone strong. Has a voice As we're divided, you know? you'll see a, a more stronger movement of resistance yeah. to, the, to the mainstream and to the ideas of, uh, especially if to the far right. And you'll see a lot more people angry, too, That's because right. they're not right. getting their way. I used to believe it was only hate from people who always harbored a lot of hate but had no way to express it. Uh -huh. But now I believe there are people who didn't know where to place their anger, their blame, right, right. their suffering. Right. Now they place it on the Latino. They place it on the African-American. They place it on the Jews. They place it on the Muslims. Because now they're, given, that a, a, they're given an opportunity to say things that they right. wouldn't have said otherwise. Sure, they wouldn't have been sure. able to say. Hmm. You know, so that's it's a scary, scary moment right now for America. We have to turn it around, and we will. Yeah, yeah. But it's we have you know, to. a little work, though. You know, Yo, we, we have hit the tolerance. Russell Simmons button this morning, I ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, Russell, it. we want to thank you very much for coming through this morning. My pleasure.